SARS-CoV-2 is an RNA virus. It mutates quite frequently. It also has this unique capacity of proofreading its mistakes, which you usually don't see with RNA viruses. But because it's an RNA virus, it has more, so to speak, evolutionary flexibility to go from animal reservoir to unfortunately human reservoir. The process of developing and testing vaccines takes usually 18 months to two years. What we are now asking the scientific um, basically community is to come up with a quick solution now, but it must be quick and effective. Um, well, it doesn't quite work like that. We need to make sure that the vaccine is actually not causing some side effects, like, for example, overstimulation of the immune system, which would actually lead to disastrous consequences. With this virus, it's actually not quite clear. Um, the hope is that, yes, higher temperatures, lower humidity, will hopefully limit the survival of these particles on surfaces, especially, you know, the UV from, from sun. But we also observe quite a bit of infections in Africa, in uh, Puerto Rico, Hawaii, other countries where temperatures are already warm.